I'm Racer Magazine's Marshall Pruitt. Let's take a look inside IMSA's fascinating new hybrid GTP cars. The next episode in our GTP 101 tech video series features Cadillac's VLMDH. Cadillac's participation in IMSA's new GTP class is more like a continuation for the General Motors luxury and performance brand. Among the four GTP manufacturers who are kicking off the new formula, only Cadillac can claim to have been a central part of the previous Daytona Prototype International formula from its start that ran from 2017 through 2022. And before that, GM's participation in IMSA's top prototype class was anchored by the Corvette Daytona Prototype, starting in 2012 in the Grand Am Series, continuing into IMSA, and as a whole, GM has not wavered in North America. Cadillac's new VLMDH was created in partnership between GM Racing in Michigan and the famed race car chassis constructor Dallara from Italy. As noted in our BMW M Hybrid V8 Tech Tour, Dallara builds GTP cars for the German brand and for Cadillac with a prototype spine, its carbon fiber tub, suspension, and other keystone components being shared across both models as a function of the rulebook. Where Acura and BMW added their proverbial 15 pieces of flair to the fronts of their GTP cars, the intent to catch people's attention, Cadillac opted for something blunt and menacing. The VLMDH is pure business up front. It looks like it wants to throw a punch, which I love. We also see the uncomplicated flow path for air entering the front of the Cadillac. Beneath the curved topside nose profile, the VLMDH leaves wide open channels for air to flow over the splitter and accelerate over the wing profiles that curve upwards and generate downforce. As we showed on its Dallara Stablemate, Cadillac has a small hood that's removed to access the front of the tub. And if we look at the outer edges of the nose, we see that Cadillac went in a different direction than BMW by moving its brake ducts from within the nose's main aperture to a rectangular position just up and over the leading edge of the nose. We also see black duct tape was applied to limit brake cooling, which says this session was somewhat cold. The VLMDH's dive planes are visible in a busy area of the car, where Cadillac has taken a unique approach to lighting by splitting its assembly into two sections, along with creating a small cooling duct for the headlights and their associated electronics. With that common Dallara chassis shared with BMW, the air extraction treatment behind the front wheels and within the side pods are, as expected, remarkably similar. Despite those similarities, Cadillac has added two items that are only found on the VLMDH by using a vertical vane to route the air leaving this area behind the front wheels and in the first example of Cadillac's blade styling carried over from its road cars, the VLMDH has a horizontal fin, an actual blade that extends inward towards the cockpit. Stepping back and looking at the sides of the Cadillac, the most prominent visual characteristic on the VLMDH stands out with the incredibly long bodywork profiles, not too dissimilar from ramps that start atop the halfway point of the side pods and continue all the way to the back of the car. Like the other GTP models, this profile helps to smooth air around the width of the rear tires while also sending air along the sides of the car and to the inside along the engine cover and beneath the rear wing to create downforce. Looking to the base of the side pods, the Cadillac has gone for a tight waisted design, which fires the air coming from beneath the splitter and nose wings around its curvature and into the back of the side pod where that air is put to use for cooling purposes. Diving into the VLMDH's cockpit with Renger Van de Zanda, another familiar sight among GTP cars is on display with an abundance of cooling hoses and electronic control boxes surrounding the enclosure for the WAE Technologies battery. It's time to pay tribute to the biggest overhead air take in the GTP class. And in a moment, we'll dive into the brilliant triple purpose design contained within that scoop. Part of that intake's job is to serve the thunderous heart of the Cadillac. It's brand new 5.5 liter non-turbo V8 engine created by GM. The work of magicians can be heard when the raging VLMDH motors buy. Despite being the biggest engine in GTP by a considerable margin, the hybrid Cadillac revs higher to 8,800 RPMs than all but the Acura while making its class capped peak of 670 horsepower. Returning to the air intakes, B 
BMW tasked Delara with using it to feed two items and not to be outdone. Cadillac and Delara designed its overhead air inlet to serve three needs by delivering ram air to the naturally aspirated V8 engine, the cooler for the battery, and finally, the cooler for the motor generator unit, the MGU, that harvests and returns electronic horsepower to the rear wheels. Although the aluminum chassis setup structure is partially obscuring the back of the Cadillac, it's still easy to see the relatively conventional approach taken to all aspects of the VLMDH. It's free of clutter. Its traditional push rod and rocker arm rear suspension is yet another aspect of the car that is well proven. Closing with the back of the Cadillac, the second set of blades, and by far the largest set on the car, point inwards from the rear fenders towards the motor. Below them, we also see the pathway created to feed the rear brakes. We spin around towards the back of the electrified Cadillac, the grand engine cover fin, which serves to create stability in a slider spin. Cadillac even worked a V-shape into that swan neck, which is a delightful grace note for the brand. Identical to what we witnessed on the back of the Acura Air X06 with its gurney flaps split into three sections to allow the topside exhausts to exit the car without interruption, the same triple gurney strategy is deployed on the VLMDH for the same purpose. It's also interesting to note how Cadillac has taken those long ramp-like profiles that start far up the car, carry them to the back of the VLMDH, but only on the outside where those profiles create tall walls for the air traveling around the sides of the car to follow, they taper downwards to a diving curvature and then ramp up after the horizontal V. Below them, the Cadillac's rear bodywork structure is the most ornate among the GTP cars with five prodigious flips and an open-ended wedge section to pull air through those wheel wells. And just because it looks cool, Let's take a look at those flying V's and shout out to Eddie Van Halen. And let's also take a close up look at the rear wing end plates, wings, and their swan neck attachment. Last in our Cadillac Tech Tour is a peek at the diffuser, and the same short, shallow strakes as found on the BMW are found on the Cadillac. The Cadillac VLMDH is the bruiser among its GTP classmates. Thanks to its hybrid power plant, Cadillac is a modern digital creature. But more than Acura, BMW, or Porsche, the VLMDH features a ton of analog sensibilities, the same kind that shipped its predecessors, the DPI V.R, and the Corvette DPs to victory lane on a regular basis. As the only non-turbo in the GTP field, the VLMDH is out to prove that Cadillac can continue winning while blending its classic and cutting edge technologies. Thanks again for watching and visit racer.com for more videos and stories about IMSA's exciting new hybrid GTP cars.